All right, guys, so I'm back. Now, listen, hopefully you guys watched the YouTube Live with Corey and I. And I just want to explain, guys, what happens in my world is not completely explainable because it, it's this ongoing supernatural uh, thing. It's just all the time. It's overwhelming. But anyway, I'm not complaining, obviously. It's just like, it's exacerbating just to try and explain it to everybody. If you read, you know, one of the books of the Bible, one of the books of the prophets, you might understand that what's going on in that book is supernatural. What's going on in everything the Lord has me do is supernatural. And that's how I'm able to show you the Vatican is a snake wearing a crown. Okay, now. Remember I was talking about the night I got saved and how it was insane. It was like there were police everywhere for one person walking across the street. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Who are these guys? And all of a sudden I went, oh my God, they're not human. I knew they weren't human. But now after all these years, the Lord's given me all the evidence, all the scriptures. It's an insect race. The the, the serpent race. That's what's good. Look. The serpent race. They look human. Lady Gaga is one of them. That's why she's got a serpent on her dress and an insect. Okay, so Lady Gaga right here. Lady, Lady Gaga right here at the Oscar Awards. Okay, I can see right away there's a serpent right here on her dress. This is all the head of a serpent. There's the eye. There's the eye. Here's the, the forked tongue coming out of the mouth. This is all the head of a serpent. Here's an insect. There's the eye of the insect. Eye of the insect. The mandibles right here. And there's this spear to, like a spear going through this triangle where her vagina is. And the spear tip is going into the mouth of this insect. What a bizarre thing. Okay, so here, here you go. Here's Lady Gaga at the Oscar Awards. Oscar means shining spear of God. So here is an, a serpent right here on her dress. See how her body makes a serpent look? Look right there, and there is the inside, the serpent's mouth and eye, eye. Now, look right here. See this thing that looks like a spear tip going through where her vagina would be? It represents the intercourse between the two different races. And look, that spear tip is going right into the mouth of an insect right here. Watch. I'll just show it to you. There you go. So here's the insect. So see, that's where their food comes from. The serpent race, and then the, the spear tip representing a penis is going into the mouth of this insect. Guys, that's what the entire Vatican is a serpent. The mouth of the serpent in the Vatican is a vagina, and the penis going into the into the, you know into the vagina is going right into the mouth of an insect. When you zoom back, right here, I'll show it to you, the whole thing. So there you go. Here you go. Here's your insect. There's your whole head of an insect. There's the antenna. There's the antenna. Here's the eye. Here's the eye. Here's the mandible. Here's the penis going in. Same thing as Lady Gaga's dress. Now let's just take a close-up and look at the altar. I mean, my goodness. Now this is on police badges in Australia. Here's the dead sheep right here. Here is a sheep. Here is an actual sheep right below it. Just match the sheep to the sheep. There's the snoot. There's the snoot. Eye, 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 ear, ear. And so here is a sheep. Here is a sheep altar. The whole altar is made up of of angels melting into semen. Oh my gosh! Look at what you're looking at. This is a penis. The angels are melting into semen. Do you understand that I just did a YouTube live showing the Melbourne Victor the Victoria police badge? It's an insect coming out of the ground. Do you understand what I'm showing you? Now you know why the end of the world is here. Because that insect race, the serpent race, has taken over. The serpent race is the insect race, okay? The insects are in the pit. Now watch. That's the race above ground is the way to feed the race below ground. So let me just show you these pictures now. Let's take that that whole altar that's the dead sheep. There's the dead sheep, but it's a penis ejaculating 
and all the angels are melting into semen. Now let's take that same altar and let's turn it upside down. Okay, here's the altar right here. I'm going to take it right over here and turn it upside down. Now, that whole dead sheep is the female reproductive system. Do you understand what you are looking at? The largest altar in the world, the mouth of the serpent, is the female reproductive system. And that female reproductive system right here is what is the mouth of that insect right here. Do you understand what you're looking at? Okay, now I told you, I would show you today that the, that the police badge in Melbourne or in, I don't understand if it's Melbourne or Victoria. I haven't looked it up yet, but I'll do it right here in just a moment. Here you go. You ready? You ready? Here is an insect coming out of the ground. Now I'm going to show it to you smaller. I'm going to slide this over. I'll move this. Look right here. Look right here. Look over here. You see it? There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the mandibles and the antenna. It is also an upside down star, which is called the sigil of Baphomet. You know, that's the church of Satan. And look, it's wearing a crown. But look at the crown. The crown is a face. This is the eye. This is the eye in the mouth. This is literally the crown represents Satan. And here's his army of insects. This is on the Victoria police badge. Okay, let me show you what I turned on right after I did this YouTube live video. It said heroes to zeros. Now, remember, I told you the night I got saved when I was at the Travis Park after I'd been already been converted. I, I, I went back to the Travis Park looking for Michael. I wanted to talk to him again. And I ran back there looking for him. And when I got there, all these cops had arrived. And they surrounded the entire park. And they turned on all their lights. It was insane. I was like, what are all these guys doing here? And then I realized they were there for me. It was like a swarm of insects. Can you understand what I'm telling you right now? That the police department in Australia, their badge is an insect. I'll prove it. Ready? Here is what's going on in Australia. I just turned this on. Listen to what this guy says. Listen. I agree on is it was absolutely unnecessary for so much police to come and shut down a group of healthcare workers, socially distanced, masked, most of them vaccinated. I'm okay, can you imagine? Why are all those police there? All these people are sitting down. They're wearing masks. They're vaccinated. Oh, but they're all wearing an insect badge. They are all wearing an insect on a badge on their arm. Do you understand what's going on? It's the takeover, the satanic takeover of the host body system. I told you. This is what I've been telling you. It happened the night I got saved. Look, there is an insect right there coming out of the ground. And it also is a five-pointed upside-down star. Now watch. I'll just go back and I'll just show you. I've colored it in. Here you go. There you go. There's your insect coming right out of the ground. Just squint your eyes a little bit. A little bit. They put the banner right in front of here. That makes the mandibles go down like it's coming out of the ground. But also you can see right here, if you extend it, the mandibles. That is an insect, you guys. And the police are wearing it. I'll tell you what Victoria's Secret is. Now let's go back to the stuff I've shown you. Remember the human in a slave collar at, at the Vatican? There it is. I drew in all the changes of shadow on that thing. Ready? Okay. Let me show you what it turns into. It's an insect coming out of the ground. See it right here? There's the eye of the insect. Eye of the insect. Mandible. And see, here's the darkened area around the edge. It's coming out of the ground. No different than the badge on the police. I mean, do you understand? Look at what you're looking at. Look right here. Look right here. I'm going to take, you know what, I'll grab it right here. There you go. You're looking at the exact same thing. An insect coming out of the ground 
on the police badge right here. Look, right there. It's an insect. Ready? It's an insect coming out of the ground on a police badge. And it's the Church of Satan wearing a crown. That's the Church of Satan, the upside down uh, star. Now watch. I'm going to show you an insect hatching right here. See right here? See the eye right here? And the eye, look. Look right here at the cicada. Look at the eye. Look at the eye. Look at the shape of the face. Eye over over the forehead. Eye down to the proboscis. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it right over here. Right on top of this. Watch. Ready? Right there. Okay. So I've taken this insect right here. I'll move it right on top of this one. See it? It's an insect. This is an insect. It's coming out of a chrysalis, like a cocoon. There it is. Okay, now let me expand what you're looking at. So now I'll take this and I'll show you. There it is coming out right there. Now I'll take this and I'll turn it right side up. <clears throat> it's really a guy wearing a cloak. Oh, what did Jesus say? If I had not come to and done the works, no other man had done, <clears throat> they would have no cloak for their skin, for their sin. Because the human host body is their cloak. The flesh is their hiding place. That's their hiding place. See? And he's wearing a cloak and a hat. His identity is concealed. And he's shooting the bird. But to understand what it is, you have to turn it upside down. It's a damn bug. And then here you go, right here, right from the CIA, uh, right off Google Images. And it says, it says, Usque quang, usque quake conito secus basium. Let's see. Uh, secus something conito basium. And I translated it from Latin, and it means each one learning by never learning a kiss. This Latin writing on it that goes around the perimeter of this thing, it means each one learning by never learning a kiss. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. It's an insect race and it's right on a CIA challenge coin. It's in the Vatican. Here, let me show you a side by side. Here is like a cicada coming out of the ground. Take a look at it. See the dark around the edge of the insect? Look at this insect coming out of the ground. Mandible. Aye, aye. This is in the Vatican. Okay. Do you understand what you're looking at right here? Ready? Look. That's what's on the damn police badge. Look. Ready? That's what's on the police badge. Look. That's what's on the police badge. Do you see what I am showing you? This is the Vatican. It's an insect, a locust from the pit. The Lord told me today, Jonathan, the end has come. Imagine all those cops in Australia wearing a patch that's an insect coming out of the pit. Just stop and think about that. Okay, now, <clears throat> I was trying to give you guys a testimony <clears throat> about how the Lord conveyed to me New York's about to be destroyed by that tidal wave that the Lord had me prophesy. It's printed on the U.S. currency. There is a video called $100 Bill Nuclear Devastation. You can go see it on Odyssey. I showed you some clips from it the other day. I prophesied in 2007 before Obama became president that he was the Antichrist and that a tidal wave would take out New York and the Hoover Dam would go. It's printed on your money now. The words that came out of my mouth are now printed on U.S. currency notes. The disaster that was prophesied out of my mouth is printed on U.S. currency notes. I'll say it again. The disaster that I spoke out loud. Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem. 
will cover the city by the sea. It's a nuke and it's a tidal wave. I'm sure they're going to blame it on the Canary Islands. <clears throat> anyway, whenever it happens, I'm, when I say I'm sure, I, that would be a good sur thing to surmise. I don't know for sure. I mean, no one knows for sure. I do know this for sure. There is a Victoria police badge, and it's not a police badge. It's an insect that's coming out of the pit on a police badge. I can guarantee you that's what it is. Okay, now, I told you that I would show you this absolutely insane way in which the Lord conveyed to me that the end was here. And it was so weird. He told me to go take my cell phone. And it needed to be fixed. And so I did what he said, and I went to the mall. <clears throat> when I went to the mall, I went into, I, I had to go to the Apple store. And I gave him my cell phone. They said, okay, come back in an hour, and we'll have it ready for you. So let me, let me show you a little video of all the little clips that I put together to show you what happened. Here we go. One second. Okay, so I, on the YouTube Live tonight, I tried to explain with Corey just how crazy everything's been for the past four days. It's been almost, I, almost unexplainable. The Lord told me to go take my phone yesterday. He said, go take it now. He had already conveyed to me that same morning very clearly, this is it. By having, anyway, you know what? I got to back up. That's this morning. Yesterday morning. I'm sorry. Yesterday, I had to go take my cell phone to get fixed. I did not want to. The Lord told me to go do it. The reason he told me to go do it is because he knew where he would park me. He parked me right in front of this thing that says EV charging has arrived. See right there? See, it says hello. Watch. Oh, was it home? Okay. Wave, it says EV has arrived. TS very weird. I thought I was at home and I just heard the Lord tell me to go to the Apple store. I have a phone problem with one of my phones to change it in. It says, hello, EV charging has arrived. You see that tidal wave arriving right there? It's like uh, the Lord's telling me, hey, you know that prophetic utterance you had about out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind, water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea. It seems like it's arrived. It's the only okay, I'm going to pause that. See, that's, that's when I pulled up. That's at the moment I pulled up and I'm like, this is so weird. And the Lord told me to document. He told me, document what you're looking at. That's what you're looking at. Me going, okay, this is really weird. It looks like this tidal wave thing is like the Lord telling me what's going on. And it's weird. And so I documented it. You just saw it. Then I went in the Apple store and I handed him this phone. And I said, hey, you know, this thing needs to get fixed. And I said, you know what? We can do it here while you wait. It'll take about an hour. But you may lose all your data, so you got to sign this release. And so I said, okay. So I got my other phone, and I went outside, and I made another video of that tidal wave, just in case I lost the data from this phone. But then when I walked in the second time, there was a sock store. Who cares, Cleck? I know, right? Who cares? The Lord told me to go in there, and I went in there, and I'm looking at a pair of socks with a tidal wave. I thought... That was kind of weird. Then I walked out of the store and I'm calling Corey like being all covert in the mall. Like, dude, this is really weird. But I just videotaped a tidal wave. It said hello. It was really weird the way it said hello. And then I was in this sock store and there's a tidal wave. And it's like the Lord's telling me that New York. Oh, my God. And then right then I'm looking at New York. And it says the apple of my eye, New York. And I'm like, weird. I was just about to say New York's going to get taken out by a tidal wave. And I'm looking right at New York skyline painted on a, on a store window. Okay. At that point I was like, this is super freaky, dude. I documented it. Then I walked into the store and the guy's like, yeah, we got your phone ready. And they got it ready really fast. And the guy hands me my cell phone 
and it says, hello. And I'm like, what? It says, hello, the same as the tidal wave. And then I was like, okay, that's certifiably crazy. So I documented it. Here, let me show it to you. Let's just do it one step at a time. Here we go. Watch. Only thing I can surmise. There's just no way he would bring me over here, have me park in a spot I would not have parked in. And that's what's in front of me. That's just so random. Okay, that's just straight up weird. Okay, so now... Now I'm in the sock store and I'm like, this is super weird, man. I was cracking up. I'm like, this is bizarre. Okay, watch. That's a tidal wave on a pair of socks. Tidal wave. So yeah, I just saw the, uh, the tidal wave at the EV fill up thing document it again this is my second time i was in the apple store i just wanted to make sure the phone that they're working on doesn't mess up that file then i went over to the sock emporium uh a tidal wave again and then i'm standing over here talking to Corey, and i look up and it says you're the apple of our eye and if you know all about the Apple thing, you'll know. Okay, so I was trying to be kind of low key because, you know, it's like I didn't want to sit there. Oh, man. So anyway, so, yeah, remember the whole I got shot in the eye with a laser and the Lord had just shown me whoever touches you touches the apple of my eye. And one of this tech shot me in the eye with a laser. I lost my vision in my right eye for a while. Okay. On that store, it said New York, and it had a cityscape of New York. And I was just, I didn't look at it and go over there, oh, there's New York. No, I was just saying, hey, Corey, this is getting really, whoa, what the hell? That's <laughs> so crazy. So then I go in the Apple store. When I go in the Apple store, the guy goes, here's your phone. My phone goes, hello. I'll show it to you. Ready? Okay. I was like, what the heck? And in my spirit, I already knew the Lord's telling me, Jonathan, it's about to happen. He had already uh, he had already conveyed it for the last three days, four or five days, over and over and over and over again. This is it. It's coming right now. It's coming. And I'm like, and I've been doing videos trying to show you guys the data. And trying to keep up with all the miracles. And I can't. It's it's insane. Okay, so then I see this. Hello, but it still requires faith. I'm like, okay, that's super weird. So now I get my phone and I go outside. Here we go. Okay, I just got to document how insane this is. When I showed up here, I parked in a very strange place. I'm going in way over there, way over there. Anyway, I parked here. This is what the Lord wanted me to see. I'm waiting for the screen to change. It changes to a tidal wave. There's my phone that they just handed me in the... In the... Um, Apple store it says hello when I pulled up in this spot this sign right here was a tidal wave and it said hello and I heard in my spirit New York's about to be destroyed because that's the prophetic utterance I had and you know water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will destroy the city by the sea and then I pull up here and this whole thing is lighted up with the tidal wave saying hello. It's very odd, maybe they'll do it right now. I don't know. But then when I went into the store, when I went into the store to get my phone done, they handed me back and it says, hello. So here it is, it just switched to that screen. See, look, it's a tidal wave says hello. 
I mean, this is so bizarre. My phone, they handed me my phone and my phone says, hello, again, I pulled up and this whole thing's a video of a tidal wave. Hello, hello, there it is. Okay, so imagine you're me and the Lord had told you, no, you have to go get your phone done. Uh, I knew he was going to show me something, but that? Okay, guys, so now I'm sitting here just going like, okay, this is really bizarre. So I document all of it, then I go home. Then I'm praying. I was praying that same day, and I said, Lord, I hope I've done everything. I hope I'm ready to come home. I wrote the prayer on the page, so let's just look. Watch. Let's just get there. See it? My phone says, hello. <laughs> it's like it's here. I can't even describe what's going on. Okay, so after the hello, the hello, and the tidal wave, I came home and I was praying, and I, here's my prayer. I said, in the kitchen, I said, you said I'm done. Even if I, if I do no more work, I'm good to go. So, <clears throat> I was in the house and I heard the Lord tell me, I know, I know you're like stressed. And I'm like, yeah. And he, I heard the Lord say, you're, you're good to go. Even if you do nothing else. So like, even if I did no more YouTube, anything, I don't feel like I have to do anything to be made right with God. I've been converted. He did it. But the Lord telling you when you've been working for him for 20 years, he says, you know what? You're good to go. You can just relax. You don't need to do anything if you don't want to. I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I said, so you're saying I'm good to go and I don't I don't have to do anything else? Like I'm done? Like that's it? No more anything? That's what I heard. And I wrote it on the page. Look, you said I'm done even if I did if I did did no more. No work. I no more work. I, I'm GTG, good to go. <clears throat> and then he showed me this, welcome, make welcome, bid one welcome. Uh, uh, welcome home, welcome back. Kill the fatted calf. Oh, uh, welcome home with open arms. Okay, you know, you know, kill the fatted calf like the prodigal son that went astray. And look at this. It says, greet. It says, say hello and then it's like, hello, exclamation point. Imagine you're me. And all of a sudden you hear the Lord say, you're good to go. Did you know that's what the guy handed me when he handed me my phone? He goes, there you go. You're good to go. Hello. And then I hear the Lord telling me I'm good to go. Hello. <laughs> that's like, that's like, uh, that's like one in a trillion again. So all glory to God again. So anyway, when I heard that the other night, I was just like, oh my gosh, thank you for taking the pressure off. I just feel like we're, it's so close that I don't have to worry about. I worry about y'all. I worry about like everyone needing me to be there so you guys have someone to reach out and communicate with you. When I say worry, it's not like I, I'm not worried. What I mean is, I care that y'all have someone that's around for you. You know, like, I know y'all come looking to see if I posted a video. So if the Lord tells me I'm good to go, we're done, that means it's like, wow, it's going to be over. So I don't have to carry that burden because, you know, it's a, it is a burden. I'm not going to lie. It's a burden. I don't feel like I can just... You know, just, oh, I don't got to worry about nothing. What? There's too many people that that count on me just being there just to help support you. You know, like a friend to lean on to help you get to the finish line. That's all. And so I always carry that with me. And the Lord's telling me, no, you don't need to carry that. You're good to go. Hello. Oh, my. Okay, that's pretty wild for me. And I was like, wow, there it is. Hello, exclamation point. So then... Here's another video. Okay, so I told you that my phone this morning made a video. 
and hopefully I can play it. Okay, you know, uh, I'll tell you what. Let me let me let me check some real quick. Okay, so you ready? This morning, after hello, 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 the day before, this morning, this cell phone that's been fixed, it makes a video on its own, and it sends me a video. So my phone somehow decides to make a video and send it to me, and the video is based on events from September 30th, 2018. I'm going to play that. This is the video, yeah, it says, remember when, and this is my phone making a video and playing a video for me. Now, imagine this, the, the song is by Fleetwood Mac, and it's called, You Can Go Your Own Way. Imagine you're me, and your phone starts playing, You Can Go Your Own Way. The Bible says, like sheep, they have... They, they've they all gone astray like sheep. Each one is turned to his own way. You can go your own way. And now it's the reconciliation. Okay, imagine uh, you got this video this morning. made it okay I'm gonna pause it that's it it shows two scenes from this is it that's the soul food place in Houston which is the very first place I went after I got saved after I was set free from all the cops that swore me once I got set free the Lord told me it's time to start I want you to drive towards New York we're all black tell Luda we're all black. It was my first act of obedience. And we drove towards New York and I got arrested in Weimar, Texas for something I didn't do. They said I ran a red light. They said I had a suspended driver's license. Neither of those were true. They put me in jail. When I was in jail, a black guy named Argentine III looked at me and said, Jonathan, have you ever been to This Is It? It's soul food. It's in Houston. It's off Pierce Elevated. It's on Gray Street. You need to go there. And I was in a jail in Columbus, Texas. I got pulled over in Weimar, taken to Columbus, put in jail. And some guy, Argentine the Third, looks at me and tells me, you need to go there. And I knew it was the Holy Spirit speaking through that guy. I went to, I got out in the morning, the next morning. I got out very early in the morning because there was no warrant out. There was no suspended license. So they let me go. We drove into Houston. We walked into the door to the door of this is it. Lou and I, we're both wearing all black. I told her you have to wear all black before we even got in the car. She thought I'd lost my mind. And we walked into the door of this is it. And as soon as we walked in the door, the guy on stage started going, hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we were the only white people. The place was packed. Everybody was black except for us. But we were wearing black from head to toe. I had on a black do-rag, black shirt, black jacket, black jeans, and Lou the same. Black from head to toe. Lou had a nervous breakdown because she, she just started bawling. <gasps> ah, how did you know? I was like, I told you, some source is communicating with me. For my phone to put this is it in a video today of all days, to start my morning with that video, this is it. Look, this is it. It even, I even speak during this part of the video. There's no speaking in this video, only in here. Listen. I was in Houston with Alvin because he was being inducted into the Martial Arts Hall of Fame, and he's one of my best friends. I was in martial arts with him for a long time, and so he invited me to go to Houston 
while he was inducted into the Martial Arts Hall of Fame. And so I told him, I'll take you to This Is It Soul Food. And the Lord put that in front of me this morning? Are you kidding? Hello? <laughs> okay. You ready for what happened next? So that was this morning. All the hello, hello, hello stuff is the day before. This morning is this is it. And then the Lord did, conveys to me that the time has arrived. And now let me show you what happens next. So Corey and I are out. And here's the next video of me documenting today. I'm going to play the rest of the rest of this and then you'll see me and Corey and I'll document the rest of this day. Watch. Perfect. Come stand over here. Okay, so I have to document what happened right now. I'm riding around with Corey. The Lord has conveyed to me yesterday very clearly using a video of a tidal wave where I parked my car. It said, hello. The Lord had told me go over to go over there and where I parked, he showed me, I'm letting you know. The tidal wave is coming. New York's about to be destroyed. So where I parked my car, there's like, it looked like a gas pump for electric cars. And there was a tidal wave that said, hello. And then I walked in the store. I walked in the mall. There was a sock place. Lord led me to go in there. And I walked in and the socks I looked at were a tidal wave. Then I documented both these things. You probably already seen it on this video. And then, that was yesterday, and then I walked uh, into the whole, like, mall proper, and I was telling Corey how weird the Lord's showing me New York's about to go, and Corey's right here. And as I was saying, the Lord's showing me, you know, holy moly, while I was on the phone, yeah. Yep, and, and because, I haven't seen it yet. And, and I was standing right in front of, like, a store that said New York, and, and I was just saying in our conversation, yeah, Corey, the Lord's showing me the tidal wave in New York's, oh my God, New York's right in front of me. Yep. So anyway, that happened yesterday. And then when I picked up my phone from being fixed, which is the whole reason I was at the mall, to, was to the Lord told me to go over there and get my iPhone fixed. He told me, yes or no, Corey. Yep. He told me I had to go. Yes. And so then he delivered all this tidal wave stuff. So then after I already seen the word hello on a tidal wave, then I went into you know the mall. I see socks with the tidal wave, then New York. And then this guy hands me my, I, I walk back into the Apple store which is what I was there for. And when I go into the Apple store, the guy goes, okay, here's your phone, Mr. Clegg, you're good to go. And my phone says hello on it. So right now, Corey and I just grabbed a quick lunch and we're heading to do a couple little errands. And I said, looks like this is it, Corey. I'm like, the Lord's communicated that this is it, time's here, we've arrived. This morning, literally my phone sent me a video that my phone made by itself never seen this before uh the way that my phone did this and it said it picked pictures from the past and one of the pictures was this is it uh from me being at this is it restaurant uh with alvin like many years after the original okay so now you know tidal wave hello uh cell phone hello last night i was like okay lord i know you're coming he told me open the thesaurus it literally said hello so now, Corey and I are driving back to do a couple errands, and I'm telling him, yes, Corey, no, this is it. The well, time has come. And you just prayed. And I, I was praying. I was in the process of praying in the car, saying, Lord, if there's anything else we need to do before you arrive, just let me know. Is that what I prayed? Yep. Okay, and then I went, holy, and I, yeah. I made, Corey doesn't even know why I made my U-turn. Not yet. He's about to see why I turned around. I just went around a few blocks, get ready. Okay, so I told you, I just prayed and said, Lord, I know you're coming. Is there anything else we need to do before you arrive? You've shown me hello over and over and over again. You told me New York's about to, about to get taken out by a tidal wave, the prophetic utterance that you gave me so many years ago. And I was praying that prayer right here, right, Corey? Yep. And I'm right here oh, at the finish line right there. Right when I was praying that prayer, and then I looked over and look what it says on the marquee at the church. Hello. Okay, so I just made the block again because that's so insane that literally at the finish line, 
the, there's a finish line for a 5k right in front of a church i showed you all that in the video the other day when the lord told me the finish line is here and i drove right under a finish line i was like what the heck now i'm telling Corey like yeah and i'm i'm praying in front of Corey, and i said lord you keep showing me that we're done you've shown me yesterday the tidal wave is coming you've shown me over and over again and yesterday you proved it by taking me to get my cell phone fixed and it said hello now while i'm saying that i was driving on broadway that way this way i had just gone under the finish line right there that's the 5k finish line and then over here at the church it says hello <laughs> okay so now what i'm gonna try and explain to you is this there is no way there is no way timing wise all those things happen. There is no way that I went to the desert Chinati because the Lord walked me into a building that had wind blades and he had me look at a painting that said greener pastures and it was out in Chinati and there was a shepherd leading sheep and the Lord told me I want you to go there now and I did and he took me out there and he gave me a rock that was split in half in the middle of a creek bed with trillions of rocks. My whole ministry was to show everybody what being on the rock is. Here's what being on the rock is. We used to be one thing. We were one thing. We got separated from our creator into a system called the flesh. There became a good Jonathan and a bad Jonathan, like twins. My eyes were not single. One was up, one was down. That's what the all-seeing eye is. The all-seeing eye is the eye that goes to the pit, to Satan, it's on the dollar bill. So to get converted, when you get turned, the other eye turned up, then the two become one and your eyes become single, your mind becomes single and you serve only Christ. You no longer are double-minded. You don't want to do good and evil. You've turned to Christ. You've turned back away from Satan. You've turned away from sin. You turn the other direction and you got converted and your sins are erased. And now you're on the rock. That's what the rock is. That's why Jesus was crucified right side up. And Peter was crucified upside down. Just like this rock. One right side up. One upside down. When you turn the, the one that's upside down. Right side up. Just like Peter. Peter had the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Ready? You turn it the other way. And the two become one. And you have been converted. Okay. The same God that showed me this and did this for me. He has conveyed to me, the end has come. He had me blow a shofar the other day at 728. 728 means earnest money down payment. You have the Holy Spirit as your earnest money down payment. I am telling you, I'm looking at you. This is not my opinion. This is not what I think. I am telling you, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Yehoshua, the king, has conveyed to me, Jonathan, the end is at the door now. Repent and believe the gospel. Now I've done what he said. Okay. Now. <laughs> Flake. Okay, now. <clears throat> there is so much information. I don't know how much, you know, how much I just want to beat everybody over the head with info. But my folders are more valuable than all the money in the world. There is no value you could put on these folders and what's in them because they've been proven out now to be perfect. And all the data in them, in them support everything I've been telling you and teaching you that the Lord God has shown me. And the time has arrived. You said, I'm done. Even if I did no more work, I'm good to go. Welcome home with open arms. Take one. Uh, uh, welcome home like one of the family. Do the honors of the house. Kill the fatted calf. Roll out the red car carpet. Receive royally. Make feel like a king. Hello. 
the king is coming. It's not my opinion. It's what's been communicated. The same as all the information I've given you. It was communicated to me. It was given as a gift. And I'm sorry if I've ever, ever acted like it's mine. It was a gift from the king through me to you. I am not worthy to be able to get to do this. Nobody is, especially me. All glory to the king. All glory to Jesus, Yahushua. Peace and grace. I love you guys. I'm grateful that he let me do something good with my life instead of what it was. And I, I hope to see everyone at a party, a giant, insane reception of brothers in Christ. The insect race, the serpent race is taking over. I just showed you they're wearing patches that show an insect coming up out of the ground. It's an upside down star, their patch with a crown. That says it all. Time's up. We got to get a hug going. I can't end this video without a hug. All right, guys. This is you. I love you. It's going to be all right. Don't be afraid, sheep. Don't be afraid. Your dad already paid for your sins. I mean, even if there's a moment of like, well, we all have to leave this world to get to where we're going. So don't be afraid to leave it. Okay, no matter what. Okay? So, I love you in Christ. We're going to be okay. okay. It's time to let go of everything. Just like that video I showed you that the Lord told me. It's time to let go. Like Finding Nemo and Doctor Strange. Remember all the same day? Let go. The guy going to heaven. You got to let go of everything. The Lord told me let go of everything of this world now. Don't hold on to anything. Okay, guys. The king's coming. And what I'll probably do after this is just depending on if, I mean, look how bloodshot my eyes are. I'm pretty tired, but I might just sit here and crunch data, you know, just go through folders just for posterity's sake. Um, there's an incredible resource um, um, that someone put together, and um, it's called the Cleck Files, and uh, it's just I can't give a big enough thank you to the person that did it. He took all this information that I've put out and he consolidated it and he put it in a body of work called the Collect Files and it is phenomenal. So all the work I've done has been memorialized. And so he took, I mean, it's like a book in the Bible. He took all this information and he, he protected it. Good for you. All right, guys. So anyway, I love you in Christ. Get ready, the king's coming. <laughs> His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. He's the prince of peace. Your enemy is the prince of darkness. He runs the twin system. The male-female system is his. All right, guys. Peace and grace.